everyone, it's Jackie from Watercolor Gypsy Art and Wellness. Hi, I just wanted to go over just a few basic art theory, uh, color theory concepts before we get into the review of the Unison 120 half 6 star starter set and why it's a wonderful set for beginners. So soft pastels are a little different than any other medium uh, because when you're talking about wet mediums such as watercolors or acrylics you can and oils you know I relate pastels to oils the most I actually started this pastel journey because I got into oil painting and I found mixing my palette the amount of time it takes me is like a half hour to mix all of my you know different colors my values my you know saturations it, it just took me way too long and I want to just get to painting and with pastels I have that ability because the sticks are already laid out in value in chroma and in you or color. So pastels are a little different. So with, I'm going to use oil paint as an example because oils relate to pastels the most in my personal opinion. So I could go out and I could buy these three colors a primary red, which this is quinacridone red, a primary yellow, cadmium yellow light, and a phthalo blue, and maybe a tube of white, and if I really wanted to, a tube of black. But the tube of black isn't necessary because if you mix these three together, you'll get a very dark brown or a black, and if you add more blue, you're most likely to get a black. So, you can get away with four tubes of paint, and you can make any color of any value of any um, chroma. Chroma meaning saturation. How bright and vivid or how dulled and neutral is the color? So with every hue, you can make a different value. You can make it its original value. You can add a little bit of black or its complement and make it less saturated and a little darker. Or you can add white and make tints. When you add whites to colors, you get tints, which is why sometimes in pastels you'll see a color and then you'll see the same color, like the same color number in Rembrandt, let's use Rembrandt's system for example, like uh, I'm just going to pull a number 105.1. That is the darkest. 105.9 is the lightest. So it's the same pigment, but they slowly add white to make tints. So with pastels, you can't buy three primary colors and mix your secondaries, in your tertiary colors. So tertiary colors happen when you mix a secondary and a primary. Your primaries are your yellows, your is this blues, and your reds. Your secondaries are your greens, your oranges, and your violets. Then we have tertiaries which are like yellow orange, yellow green, blue green which would be like your turquoise, blue violet, red violet, red orange, you know, and you can go on forever with making different hues and different um, colors with that. And then there's a value. So value determines how light or how dark something is. And value is one of the most important concepts in any painting, whether you're painting in pastels, oils, acrylics, whatever, because if you don't have your values right, your painting won't look right, it'll look flat, and if you have your values correct or even pump it up a little bit and get a little more contrast, your paintings will be, will, will be, you know, bright and realistic and have a dimension. Remember, we're trying to render three-dimensional objects on a two-dimensional piece of paper, so value is essential to that. So how light and how dark something is. We will be going over this in more detail in independent videos. And the last thing, I just wanted to introduce the concepts to you as we start to go over starter sets and good sets for beginners so you kind of understand what to look for in your sets. So the next thing we're going to go over is saturation or chroma. So chroma is how intense or how, how neutral, how grayed out, how dull is the color. So if I were to mix, let's just say orange with blue, I would dull the blue down a lot. I would get a more um, 
a less chromatic blue. I don't know if that's the right word, less chromatic. A less intense blue. So it's the intensity of the color, which has a big factor in your paintings. Now, the big, big difference between pastels and wet paints, we can't buy three colors. We, and this is why you'll see a lot of pastel artists with these big boxes and big trays of hundreds and hundreds of pastels. We actually have to have the stick that, and, and a few sticks of that hue in different values, and we also need to have some neutrals, so we need to have some less saturated colors in our set. And if you're just starting out in art, pastels are a great medium because they will give you an understanding of these three concepts as you work through paintings. You'll make some mistakes. You'll learn from them. Uh, you will definitely learn about, you know, color theory and saturation and value through working with soft pastels. A con about soft pastels for beginners is it's not it's not the most economical uh, medium to start with. A good set that has all the colors and values and saturations that you need to make complete paintings will run you about two hundred and fifty dollars to maybe three hundred and up depending on what brand you're going for if you're going for artist grade. Now you can get a set like the Faber Castell um, Gold Faber, I think it's called, set of 72 which gives you a great range of colors and they're like a hard, harder pastel. Um, you can get that for like twenty six dollars and then you can buy like some cheap paper like Hanson Mi, Mi Tints or Mi Tientes, I never pronounced that right. Um, but you will, you will get frustrated because the pastels won't behave and you won't be able to layer it the same way you would, let's say, on a sanded paper. Now, we do have solutions for that by making our own homemade ground, which is really affordable. It's just gesso and pumice powder or marble dust, or you can just use clear gesso on the paper. Um, and you can get around that as you're learning. But if you're looking for a good set of pastels, you know, we're going to go over quite a number of sets. You, If you've been watching my channel, you know we're going to go in-depth with all of the brands of pastels, like crazy in-depth with them, um, like how much they cost. You know, I, I've said this a million times before. I'm not even going to bore you with it. Um, so before we get into the Unison set, I wanted you to know why it was a good set. What to look for when you're looking for your first set of pastels. And you can always add on to it as you decide what color families you like to use best in your paintings. Like if you like a cool green or if you like warm greens, greens that leave, lean more towards yellow or greens that lean more towards blue. Personally, I go for the turquoise, which is the greens that lean more towards blue, which are cooler in color. Color temperature is another factor. We're going to save that for the uh, color theory lecture video I have planned coming up for you where we're going to go over hue, chroma, and value in complete detail with demonstration. So I hope that gives you an idea about what to look for in a set and why this particular set I'm about to show you is a great set for beginners. I know I kind of sped through it. I just wanted to give you a brief idea without this being like a half hour long. So without further ado, let's get over to the table. Okay, so as I said before in the intro, we are going to be going over this set of Unison Color Starter Half Six Set of 120. Now this is a great set and I'm actually going to link another video of someone who reviewed this. It's, it's actually from someone you've heard me mention a hundred times. Monet Cafe Susan Jenkins is, and I'm going to link it up in the corner. I don't know where to point, but it, the card will be there. So if you want to see another review, I know with me, I want to see more than one review of the colors or of the sets before I buy them, especially since the set is going to run you about $300. So Unison Color, they're made in England. The entire process is handmade. They are hand mixed, hand rolled, hand labeled. Everything is, is, is done by hand, which is why they are so expensive. So this set, I'm just going to show you the back and it got a little dirty because my table's full of pastel dust. Um, this shows you the range that it gives you. Now this gives you a phenomenal range. 
of, and I'm going to show you this set in black and white as well. I took pictures to show you the difference in value of what I was speaking about earlier. Now, this color range, you can make any painting from portraits to landscapes. You can do, you can experiment, you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to put this to the side. Oh, and before we get into the set, I just wanted to show you one quick thing, just to reinforce what I kind of spoke about. This is something where I keep all of my color charts. Blue Earth Pastels, which I will be doing a second review of soon, where I just did the unboxing, we'll do an actual review of them. So if you look at, don't look down here, look up here where it says Quinn Pink, if you can even read that. Now here, this is Pink 1A. A being the intensity, one being the value. So this is the darkest value, it goes up to seven. So it goes up to value seven, that is the lightest value. Then as we go down to B, C, and D, you see that the pink gets less intense. But you still need to consider value even though you're going down in intensity. So this color family is Quinn Pink. This color family down here is just red. And again, you start with the darkest, most saturated red, and it goes up. This would be like my primary red. This is a value three. It goes all the way up to value seven. Now there are 10 values in the value scale. I'm sure if they went all the way up to 10, it would be like almost white um, with very little pigment in it. And again, we go down B, C, D. So we go down in intensities, but we still go over in values. And you'll see how almost these almost look like skin tones. That's how neutral they get. So that was just a little uh, representation of what I spoke about earlier. So let's, let's get to the set. Get you out. Okay. I have my nice Dakota Pastels mug here with my coffee in it. My table is a little packed right now, so I have to put things on the floor. All right, let's look at it this way. So, if you look in the middle, you see a lot of darks. There are great darks in this set. This set gives you great color families. So it starts with a light orange, and I did do a swatching. I was thinking about swatching out on the video, but I am waiting for a unison color chart, like blank, to come in from Dakota Pastels. They do sell those, so I can I can fill it out myself and know what colors I have and what colors I don't in case I want to order a new color or a new set and I don't want duplicates. So I swatch this out on just a mid-tone tan Canton Me Tints paper. Mitientes, whatever, and I started with the orange, and you can see here in the swatch out, and I'm going to put up pictures of the set, both in color and in black and white, so you can see the value range you get. But I feel like on this mid-tone, you can really see the value range more than you can see it here. So, it starts with the light orange, and it goes all the way in to a really intense orange. So here you can see that. And then about halfway through, so there, there are 12 in each row. And if you get confused about what row has what, I'm going to pop up on the screen just uh, Unison's website and where you can find, if you ever do get lost, the colors that are in the set and they organize it by the rows. So I will pop that up. Now getting back to the actual package, we go from light to dark, which is also getting a little intense. And then the next six are, are red. They're a different color family. Same thing happens here, but this is a little less saturated. So you have a little less saturated of a color and then you start going into your yellows. It starts with your warm yellows and slowly creeps down into your cooler yellows. I actually think these are still warm yellows, but these two look like cool yellows to me. These look like a, um, like a lemon yellow, but I may just be confused looking at it um, because it's so light in value. So the darks are in the middle. Basically, the color families are split in half by six. Here are your green blues. Here are also your cool blues. Here are your, uh, I'm sorry, your cool greens, cool blues, warm greens. These are less saturated greens. 
Then you have like your red violets, you have your regular violets, which are actually, I think these are warm violets. These are really warm violets. So I consider this color to be a warm violet, not a red, like this burgundy, because it has blue in it. So I consider that to be like a, um, where's my color wheel? I consider that to be a red violet, just because that's what it looks like. And then here, I consider these to be blue violet. So these are warm violets, these are cool violets. Then we have like the really great turquoises, which are really great blue greens, and then more of our ultramarine colors. Then we get down here, and these are all neutrals. So the last two rows are all neutral colors. They're all less saturated, they have less chroma to them versus the almost all of the there's 10 rows so the eight rows above it there are some neutrals but most of them are pretty high chroma colors so you're getting value you're getting chroma and you're getting value chroma and you're getting color families sorry i had to think for a second um so this is a great set for beginners because you're getting the whole the whole shebang here. This is great. And if you find you want to add something that's a little bit more intense, like I know I like this color a lot, these two in specific. Ooh, they're very soft. I will probably order either this in a different shade or a different tint. And same with the other one. I collect my little pastel pieces and I put them in a jar and I make new pastels with them. So I'm not going to do a painting with them today. Or maybe I will do a painting with them and I will add it onto the video. But I want to show you now everything in black and white. So you really get a sense of the values and you really get to see it better on the paper. So I'm going to pull that up now. So as you can see, in the picture in color looks exactly like the video, and then if we transfer it to black and white, you can see the darks down the middle and especially on the bottom. So that gives you a great set. Now if we look at it on the paper, it looks totally different. You can actually see the light lights on the end much better and how it kind of gets more saturated and more um, a little darker towards the middle of the paper. So my overall opinion of this set, and I will do a little mixing for you on this paper. I was originally, like I said, I was going to swatch them out, but it's 120 colors. Guys, we'd be here for a long time. So I'm going to just swatch out a few for you and show you just a few things with this set that I found that I really, really loved. You can see I, I put squares on the paper. <laughs> this is just can't sit meat dense paper. Um, I'm going to take... So, for example, color temperature. And once you get past that outer crunchiness, they really are smooth, soft pastels. Those lines are from the pencil lines that I made when I thought I was gonna swatch this out on camera. Just see if I can rub that into the honeycomb texture a little bit. This paper is not my, if you watched my prep video, you know this paper and me, we are not friends. So that's a dark, this is the one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth one over, so it's in the second row, so it's not the lightest light. It's And you can feel a difference in the pigment in the lighter colors. The lighter colors, because they have titanium white, are a little bit smoother and a little softer. And if I blend this out and make a gradation, You can see that this entire gradation is represented here in this, what row was this? This row. That's all represented right here. 
Now with the neutrals, you get a nice assortment of warm neutrals and cool neutrals, which I feel is great because when you put a co when you put colors next to each other, their appearance change changes. So this looks like a really cool a cool blue. Now, if I wanted it I'm trying to see if I can make it look cooler. If I put a warm next to it, it's going to look cooler and it's going to make this orange look more orange. Just put it on top of each other. So you see how when I put that orange over that, it brightens up the orange. It just makes it pop because I'm putting a warm color over a cool color. So, or if I were to put this orange, let's use the same orange, let's put it down. This looks pretty, this looks pretty warm, right? Let's put it next to a warmer color. It's going to read as cooler than that. So that's, color temperature is another thing to consider. And another great thing about, where's, where's my little shards? And another great thing about this set is that it gives you everything you need to work with. Now, I promise we will be doing a painting with this set. I will be doing a lot of paintings with this set. I've already done a painting with this set. And it was just a study, that study painting um, you saw me do. If you watched my how to prep for a painting video when I went over the value study that I do in Vine Charcoal and printing out my reference photo in black and white and in color and all of that jazz, um, I did whip out this set. Now I did use some other sets also, but I found this set I was pulling from the most. And when I pull from this set, instead of taking it out so I don't lose its place, I just tip it up. So I know that that's the pastel I'm using. So my color palette will stay harmonious. That's another thing to understand about color theory is you want a harmonious color palette. Whether you're doing a um, monochromatic painting, which is very easy to keep harmonious because you're using, let's say I just use this line of colors. Not even this full line because this would, this would be analogous. Um, just just from here over, I could make a whole painting with just these six values and intensities. That would be a monochromatic painting. If I used this in this, or like this area, it would be an analogous color scheme. If I used complementary colors, so let's say I used this orange and I decided to go over here to this ultramarine blue, that is a complementary color palette. So you have every option to make whatever kind of underpainting, uh, final painting, effects. You, you can do everything with just this one set. And like I said, portraits, there are great neutrals in here. And you may not think so, but if I hold this up to you, those almost look like skin tones here. These less chromatic reds and oranges, they, and this is like more of like a yellow ochre-ish color. These look like skin tones, and the, those can go over other colors because in the face, there are blues and there are purples and there are pinks and there are a lot of colors, especially in darker skinned people. There are so many colors. Like, I don't know where people got the name black for dark color, darker skinned people because they're, there's so much color in their skin that like when I paint them, it's, it's so enjoyable because there's so much you can see, so many colors, and they're so high chroma, they're so saturated, versus with lighter skinned people, our skin is a little bit more transparent, so you see a lot of warmer colors, because the blood's running through us, you know, you see a lot of, maybe you will see purples and blues in the shadows, or you'll see like a lot of pinks and more warmer violets. So, that's my spiel. <laughs> Um, I hope you got something out of this video. This was a very quick, um, spontaneous review. Usually I would do a painting with this, but I plan on using this set to do that mountainscape painting that you may or may not have saw me do in my prep video. I will link that at the end. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that painting, 
and how I plan to change it and what I plan to do to make it actually work for me. Um, not using cans and meeting a taste paper. <laughs> um, that'll be up. So, overall, it's a steal. Yes, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. Yes, it's a couple hundred dollars. But if you want to get started in pastels and you're serious about pastels and you don't want to have a set that's going to frustrate you, this set is fabulous. It has, it's half sticks. Always get half sticks when you can because I promise you they will last you longer than they look. So I hope that little lesson, short lesson on color theory and finding sets that work for you and what to look for actually helped you and seeing the colors in black and white, I know that helped me. Um, I noticed in the first half of the video that I had a flyaway after I scratched behind my headband, so please excuse my messy hair. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of all I got for you guys. I have the swatches, I have the colors, you saw them, you saw pictures of them, you saw it in black and white. And if you were going to, if, you, if you're scrounging around right now and you're like, oh my god, what do I do? How do I start in pastels? Consider this set. Just... It's, it's fabulous, and it's a good quality. They layer well, they won't get eaten up, and, you know, I'm gonna leave the Unison um, company, there's a little video they have which explains how they got started and a little bit about the family, and it's really cute and heartwarming, so I'm gonna leave that in the description so you get a little bit more of an understanding about Unison, even though I'm gonna go over it again in the soft pastel, intensive workshop series where we review like everything which I keep saying in every video but I promise I'm just waiting on one last shipment from Dakota Pastels. Dakota Pastels is where I get everything. Mostly everything. The only thing I didn't get from there was that Henry Rocher set. So and the Blick brand obviously because it's it's Blick's brand pastels. Try to put this back on. You want to watch me struggle? Okay, there we go. So, colors in the sets. I showed you the website and how to find the rows if you do get confused and you do want to make yourself a color chart so you know what is in here because, like, counting over one, two, three, four, five, six, and knowing that this confused me. I, I couldn't make a color chart with names with this, so I had to go on the website like I showed you and do it that way. Okay, so that's the uh, starter half stick 120 set. I hope this helps you make a decision if you were thinking about buying it. If you liked this video and you want more in-depth videos and full-time, uh, real-time tutorials, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Um, let me know if this helped you out. If you have any questions or you want me to do a in-depth color theory video series, please let me know. I want to make what you guys want. That's, that's my goal here is to serve you with this information. So I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, whenever you watch this video, and bye for now.